It's three guys who combined to play 15 seasons in the National Football League trenches. Well, two guys. And Mackie, who didn't do sh**. He just, he just sits there and looks pretty. This is the O-Line Committee. This is a great day for the O-Line Committee. You got Booney's running daycare today. Uh, yeah, Jeremiah's yeah, running his uh, ice pack on the landscaping trim job he had yep. uh, internally this week. Yep, I am sterile. It is official. Uh, I, will, I still have to go back wow. and do the old the old check in three months, but I want a T-shirt. I told the urology clinic, I was like, you guys are missing out on a major marketing opportunity here. I was like, what do you mean? I was like, when people come in and give their specimen, you should mail them a shirt that says, I am sterile, and then have like the little Lincoln urology <laughs> down at the bottom of it. Like, it's perfect. It'd be awesome. I would I would wear it everywhere. That would be funny. It's Let's print the shirt. I think maybe that's like we we have a, these ideas for like an O line committee uh, shop. I think if they're not if the urologists aren't going to make money off this advantage. idea, then we need to. Okay, yeah. I on behalf of sterile. men everywhere, you're sterile. <laughs> Three is enough. I didn't follow Booney's lead. Three kids is plenty. You just heard me yelling at him to go upstairs. They're, they're just it's summertime. It's like 110 degrees outside. They're inside. I'm like, God, go outside today. We're about to break down some film. You know what? If they haven't gone outside after they listen to us talk about football, they're going to because they're like, <laughs> they hate when I start talking football. They're like, Dad, shut up. They don't understand. They're not doing it right. All right, double A gadlets. We get it, okay, Dad. Just shut up here. Let's um, go with double barrel, boys. Come on. We are, this is, uh, what, three months in, I think, mm -hmm. since yep. we launched the O-Line Committee. We've done like 20 different episodes, half of them film reviews, half of them dumb football questions. So if you've discovered this in our early going here, awesome. Thank you. If you could click the like button and the subscribe button on this video, you can help us grow this offensive line lifestyle empire. And we have podcast feeds, too, for the dumb football questions. So basically for like everything that's not a film review, we're going to put those on the podcast feeds, Apple, Spotify, Five-star rating, positive review, help us spread the word here about the online committee. And I'll tee Jeremiah up for this. Jeremiah has sent me screen like a picture of two post-it notes with seven clips of film timestamps. This is for the audience. There, it is. there they are, dude. If you're a fan, we're gonna literally pull back the curtain and we're gonna eavesdrop in on what it's like for offensive linemen prepping before a game when it comes to like blitz looks and everything. So I'm going to shut up. Jeremiah, you explain what we're going to look at here for the next, like, 30 minutes. Yeah, so here's the thing. I watched, and we talked about it on on the former shows here, I watched the quarterback series on Netflix. It was very well done, very well put together. But one thing that pissed me off as I watched the entire thing is they never once talked about, oh, I had a blitz meeting with my offensive line and my running backs, or we had our third down meeting, right? That is where we as offensive linemen spend the most preparation during the week, third down blitz period. Right, because you see it all the time. He's like, oh, it was cover zero, or, or it was this coverage or that coverage, so I got him into this protection. But he missed a step. When he gets the offensive line into that protection, it is now our job to pick it up. He can, he can name the right protection, but if we haven't studied film, if we haven't looked at what the blitz tape is, and we don't know what's coming, he's dead. You know, so... We used to have, and Booney, jump in here in time, but we used to have Ooh. third down blitz cutups every week made by Wednesday. And what that was is it was every single third down blitz from that team for the entire year and half of the year before. And yep. we would go through and we'd watch every single one and we'd say, okay, this is our three by one protection. This is our two by two protection. This is our empty protection. This is our this protection. How do we pick it up against every single blitz? And we'd watch that over and over and over again, right? I'd probably watch it four or five times a week. And I'm talking 50 to 60 plays a cut up. Right? We'd watch it with the quarterbacks. We'd watch with the coaches and the offensive line room on Wednesday morning. We'd watch it with the quarterbacks on Wednesday afternoon. And we'd watch it one more time with the quarterbacks on Friday afternoon. We called it our secret squirrel meetings because it was the, just the quarterbacks, <laughs> the running backs, the centers, and the O-linemen. Awesome. Right? That was it. Right. Lunch. So I wanted to peer into that and just show you guys what that looks like. Like, what does that look like from an offensive line's perspective where we're focused on what's happening in front of us, happening at the speed of a one-second identification process and going from there and seeing why some things worked, why some things didn't, but also try and show you some of the elaborate blitz schemes that there are in the NFL. I think I have seven plays that I picked out here. I watched every single third-down blitz from last year, yesterday, and I want to just show you guys some of these really cool blitz packages that are really fun when we <coughs> pick up but also go extremely poorly when we don't. Yes. To be fair, though, you did pick a very tough defensive coordinator, and Don Wink Martindale, because this guy will literally throw anything at you and not care. And so this is like the perfect example to start off with. Like you said, like this would be the first play we would pull up and be like, all right, how are we blocking this? So from a from a large lens perspective, right? From a large lens perspective, go ahead and pause it right there, Mac. 
right? The first thing we're going to look at um, when you are identifying a blitz is you look at the formation first, right? Formation's number one thing first, which is three by one here, right? You got your three receivers to the top, one, two, three up top. And then you have your one single receiver down here to the bottom. So that tells me that the strength of my formation is to the left. Now, the first thing I look at when I'm here is I'm going, there's danger to my right. And Booney, you jump in here. Why is there danger to my right and not to my left right now? He's topped, baby. He's topped, right? And when I say he's topped, I'm talking about the free safety standing he's over, right over him. the hash, right? And also you count. There's three receivers over to the left, and there's only two bodies standing over them right now. Not a lot of not a lot of danger for me as I look at over there. But I look to my right and I see one receiver and I see one running back, and I can count one, two, three, four guys over there that could drop out and cover him. Right. So immediately I'm thinking, okay, we need to flip it. This is our strong six man protection. Initially our call is gonna be sliding to the left. But let's go ahead and flip this and slide it to the right. <clears throat> and if you watch it out here, Geno Atkins does exactly that. He flips it here, he comes up, he's like, eh, I don't think this is right. You see the center move it to the right. And now's where the fun really begins, right? Here's where the fun really begins. So they flip it over to the right. They pick it up, but the running back. Oh, oh. 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 go back. Oh. Go back, go back, go back. Dude. Running back. No, 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 go ahead, no. That's it. I want to see what he does. Yep. He misses that's the redirect, the, right? So he right. misses the whole he misses the whole redirect. And that's the biggest problem is communication. So go, yep. Communication, right? Go all the way to the front again, Mackie. I want to show I want to show one thing. Right, so initially they come out here. I promise you, this is their six-man strong protection. Yep. When you see him right here, the center right there points. Point. Hey, we're gonna go a week here. We're going That's week us. here to make sure we're protecting where the most dangerous is. So when we say we're going weak, the running back now knows his first read is strong, which is the guy standing over the B gap there on the left side of the offensive line. This guy right, right here, correct. Yep. That's now the running back's first read. Now this running back's second read. If the weak guy drops, he has to scan his eyes back to the strong side for what we call four strong, right? Four strong, meaning they're bringing four off the strong side, and he has to pick up the fourth one because we only have three. So right? if this dude, if this dude drops back, you come back and do plus four, uh, okay. corner. Yep. Right. So go to go to the back end, back angle here. We'll be able to see it a little clear. Right. So right there, there's your four down defensive lineman. Right. Originally, we're going to 21. Originally, now we're going to 21. Us. He flips it. Now he eight. says we're going 24. We're going to 24, right? He points. That running back should know right there, hey, we're going right. My first read's 21, then I better get my eyes back to 24 here. Right? So you can see it. Clear he communication peeps. across the board. Yep. Let He's looking, too. 67 goes cool. I'm locked here on 49. Bang. Pause it. Oh, interesting. So 21 oh, does come. Oh, go back. I see what this, happens. This is yes. why this is so hard to pick up. Talk them through it, Alex. Yeah, I mean, number one, you, the ID that's the running back supposed to be going comes, and the defensive end and the defensive tackle both drop. Now, this is, like I just said, this is Don Wink Martindale messing with everybody. So now the running back is completely committed to this side because his read has come. But you get these this guard and tackle stuck in no man's land, so they end up picking up 21. And Rashad Penny doesn't have enough time to come back. Because, look, the running back's right. 21 comes, that's my guy. But the guard, as he sets, he's like, oh, my God, he's dropping. I'll just take 21. So it kind of puts the running back in a conundrum of like, oh, my God, he took my guy. What do I do? So they get stuck, and that's just enough time for 29 to come off the edge over here and smoke wow. Gino. I so mean, dude, this is – what's the solution to this? What, this, this, is, is, this, is, this is a one where you call it like, yep, they got me. You got this, me. This, you this is one of those where you got me. There's zero – unless you know oh. and you've seen this blitz on tape, and you can have an idea, but the problem is there's really no way you can get this. Penny tries to get back because they do send four strong, four weak, yeah. right? 99, 24, 5, and then the nickel coming off here is four weak. He's a genius. He drops. This, this is one of those things where it's like you can prepare all week. You can see this, but they have to, they have to trigger a three-way bump with the running back to try and you get the left that. tackle to bump over the cross. This That's, is one where they get you, right? And so, this is the stuff we see every no, single week. Jay's right. The minute that we had walked up and we have seen this, and the thing that would have been the alert for us is the two tight tackles, right? Like the minute they get like this, we have to be alert that you have to be quick reacting. So if I'm the left guard here and I set down and this guy drops, I am right now out to 21 and the running back is putting his foot in the ground and coming right back to 29. And it's like Jay said, the more you watch it and the more you see it, the minute you see it on the field, you're like, I know this. I've seen this. I think this is what they're going to do. And you're automatically fixated on it. And you're reacting to it. Now, if they don't do it, you got to start playing ball, but at the same time, like 
the fact that you've seen this so much in there because you're not going to see a DT and a DN dropping like this with the mic coming. I mean, this is some next level shit. Yeah. Can, yeah let me ask a couple dumb questions here, yeah. real quick. So, so you that guys guy takes were three me- guys. God. <laughs> The three guys block 21. I mean, that's but that's what you want. You want these guys befuddled and looking around like, wait a minute, what's going on? Did two guys just drop out of nowhere? So 25, so 20, is there flexibility with these? So 25 is the running back For is, us, re, is 21. reading 21. Correct. But is he but is he really sort of reading? And this is a dumb question. Is he reading the area too? Like, no, no, no you're just reading just him. You make it simple, Mackie. Don't get crazy on me. Here's if another your dumb guy question. comes and no. Before you say that, the reason he's committed is because twenty one steps across the line. The minute he steps across that line, you are committed to him no matter what. What about so like uh, one of the biggest complaints, I, and I've been guilty of this too. When you see like big time edge rushers, and you'll see that they drop. Like I, I did this with Daniel Hunter a few times on Purple Daily, other podcast. Like, why is Daniil Hunter dropping back into coverage, you know, you know, twice or three times in a game? Sometimes it's for this reason, right? It's like you're you're not you're yeah, you're dropping back into coverage. Thibodeau's, so on, the, you, Thibodeau's on the right, right? Yes. But yeah, we want our rushers yeah. rushing. We want our rushers rushing. If okay. we're moving our rushers, that's even better, right? Because now we're giving them time and space to play with and all these things. So normally, yeah, you could drop him every once in a while, but it's like if you're going to drop him, this better be the result, right? Because yes. he's very likely to do this exact thing. So why are you dropping him? You know what I'm saying? Like, yep. the risk reward is not there unless it ends like this. And then it's like, okay, now you got us. We thought this guy would be coming. We sent the whole line to him. You brought four week. We weren't expecting it. You got a sack. Congratulations. So we'll take this one step further before we finish up on this play. So say that we are playing this team this week. And the answer, Mackie, like you said, what's the answer to this? right you have to have answers to blitzes you have to have answers so if we see this look and we're playing the new york giants the next week here's how i would pick it up i would motion 87 back inside and i'd bring 87 back into the line here and i'd send the the offensive line on a full slide right we used to call that like a roger right which means that every single all five linemen are stepping down to their right and persecting their play side gap that's the only way this blitz gets picked up you put 87 on 49 right you bring 87 in you say, hey, you're on 49. If 49 drops, then you bail. You send the back also across, right? You cross protect. So you send 25 off, 87. Yep. off over there, off of 87. So you want to draw 25 coming over there. So it's like a and, big wall. Yep. And you yeah. just create a big Picked wall. Up everything. And that's how you'd pick it up, right? So that's how we would look at in the meeting room. We'd watch this. Go, okay, they got him there. Okay, here's how we're going to answer this. Now it's right. Now this is where Mahomes or Kirk or Gino would come up and say, hey, Roger, Roger, Roger. And now we're protected against this blitz. Yeah. And but now that, another that's big. That's the way the film room, the film room would work watching this blitz if we're preparing for the Giants the next week. And another big indicator would be look out to your three receiver side. Like, hey, guys, if there's only two over three, we're going R on this, especially if we have topped on the other side. He's completely, what is he, like 10 yards away from him? Like, it's guaranteed he's yeah. coming. So. So is, is there is there any criticism? Is it, this is a this is a pre this is like a week preparation? Uh, uh, like you're not solving. Is Geno Smith should he be solving that in the moment, or is this a no? You're screwed no, you because can't. you didn't prepare. We call for it. we call these blitzes of the week. Blitzes okay. of the week, right? This was probably a new blitz that they had just put on tape, and this is one where you come on the sideline, they pull up the picture on the tablet, and they say, okay, if we see this again, here's how we have to pick it up. Yeah, tip your cap. Okay. Oh, you have to. And it's coming again because it got home the first time. They're going to yeah, try it again. They're going to so try it again. No, you have game. to be. That's the number one thing. And remember, if you show that, like, all right, let's let's go back a step too. Because say that that was the week before. All of a sudden, if I'm Seattle, I'm thinking, is the next team going to try and do this to us too? Because if yeah. you don't stop the bleeding right away, everybody continues that blitz for the rest of the mm-hmm. year. They just throw it right into the – because they're Contact like, hey – league. They couldn't stop it last week. You think these idiots are going to stop it this week? Nope. Here we go. And then, but and then the minute you do stop it, everyone's like, "All right, they figured it out. Don't do it." And it's the actually the Seahawks are lucky that that wasn't like a fumble scoop touchdown because you think about if if a play like that gets home, how often does that ball pop out? If you're a quarterback, you just you, 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 I mean, he wasn't oh, yeah. even he's looking down the field, right? That's the type of play that could literally literally change a game. So this is here's the second play here. Uh, Eagles and Cardinals, yep. and e- the Eagles are, are trying to drive into position to basically end this game uh, to get up two scores with a quarter to go here, Jeremiah. So go ahead yep. and take it. Well, first thing to alert here is the Arizona, as I know, they're a high red. Once you cross the 50, they dial up the pressure. 
Mm-hmm. Right. So that's another thing we alert Sophie to as we're Jay. watching as we're watching tape, as we're watching things like, hey, where on the field do they like to dial up the pressure? Most defensive coordinators, if you cross the fifty, their buttholes get a little tight and they want to end the drive right there, so they start <laughs> sending it, right? So again, first thing we look at, right? Formation. Hey, this is a three by one formation, three receivers to our left, one to our right. That means our mics to our left. So initially we're gonna start our sort strong. Right? We're gonna start our sort strong, which means the running back has the guy on the right. Go ahead and let it play. This is one of the this is one of the better blitzes I saw this year, right? You see Kelsey pointing over there. Hey, we're going left. He brings it back to the right. Mm. This is a great blitz. This is great. Go and watch from the back angle right here, right? So initially they're going right. Look at all those Kelsey. guys up there, huh? Awesome. Who's having a fun time? <laughs> go back, wait, go back, go back. The right guards are having a great time. This dude. Oh my! God. This is called taking one for the team. My God, he's hiding behind. That's the Isaac, right? right? This this is a Mike. Yep this is this is a Mike Zimmer special. This oh. is a Mike Zimmer special. Four a, yeah. four to a side, right? Oh. Four to a side, and to even take it a step further, it's four to a side, and they drop a guy on the right side, but still send one, right? So watch how it goes here. So they drop. So initially they're going right. So that means stop it right there. So when I say four to a side, right, as offensive lineman, he switched the protection. He shot him him to the right. That means that Kelsey's locked up on nine. 56 is locked up on 99. 65 is locked up on 44. The back then is filling in the A-gap for 25. I'm just talking through initial responsibilities here. Yep, yep, yep. Left tackle, left guard's locked up on 94. Left tackle's not even out of his stance. Left tackle has the guy that's way out here on the edge. Right, like, like way out here. Yep. Yeah. Forty because forty-five is a line. Nice man. So that's nice how nice that's up. how if you were to draw it up on paper, Mackie, that's how it should be picked up. But now the responsibility of the running back, like we just talked about in the last one, if your guy weak drops, you are responsible for number four outside, which is number three over here. See on him the le- on the right side. Number right? three way out on there. The left side, right. So yeah, that's right, number the, four. So boom, the right there. Frozen. The yeah, he sticks back. his foot in the ground. Yep. The running Great back. Job. Oh, do we get frozen here? I'm trying to erase the. Uh, I'm tra- you know who messes uh, this up, and this is really going to piss me off. Go back right, right now. It's the left tackle. There we go. God damn it! You got to be kidding me. So he, you said he's he get like slow to get out of his stance on this. He's not even slow you- to get out of his stance. He blocks ninety four. He doesn't kick out. This is a simple Mike base protection. You're supposed mm-hmm. to be out on number seven. See that right there? Mm-hmm. I don't know what he's thinking. Uh, to be the honest, left tackle, the left tackle blows this right. So this is again. This is just again backup left tackle right. That's oh, not he's Jordan Malata. That's, That's not Jordan Malata, right? This is not empty protection. He's not protecting it inside out. He should be on number seven. So he did he so he thinks he's on forty five and he thinks yes. the tight end is on seven out here? Or I think like seven seven? releasing. I think he's seven's just chipping. Up. Seven looks like he's getting chipped on the way out, but sixty three just doesn't see this guy. And then the running back, right? This is a really hard thing to do because we talked about it, right? If the guy if twenty five crosses the line of scrimmage, the running back has to protect inside out, twenty five to number three. He sees him take one giant jump across. Boom. As soon as he puts oh, his foot in there, he's got it. Fourteen's got a tough job here. He's got to take his foot and he's got to see this and then try and get out here and take a save a life off number three here. But right? you can tell that he's probably seen this because look, he's ready to get out. And this is a good, good team, right? They're Stoutland coaches this O line extremely strong. So their meetings are probably very serious, which is why I Boom. don't know why the left tackle's not mm. getting out. See, if the left tackle kicks out to seven here, I don't know what he's doing. 14 has a chance to put his foot in the ground and at least try and run number three by, right? Right here, he sees it. He's like, oh, shoot, I got to get back out to number four, fourth week, right? He knows he has the fourth rusher. So yep. if he can get out there and the left tackle doesn't completely just screw this up and he's on seven, they're going to pick this up. Now go out to the wide view real quick. This is why we love when we can pick these up. Let it run a little bit. There's going to be someone wide open down the field. I promise you, if you let this run right there, you're taking a shot one-on-one with the safety with, I'm pretty sure that's Devonte or is that Adams down there on the 25 yard line? Yeah. Right. Like that's, right what the that's what fires us up. When we pick up blitzes the right way, there's huge plays to be had down the field, right? Like if he can pick this up right here, he's going to put this to the, ball to the 20 yard line and this can be a huge completion one on one like with that right, out yep, here, right yeah. there yep. right there right that's but the risk reward that's the risk reward right they end up vicing that other safety comes down and vices on the on aj brown stand on the 35 and that's gonna be a complete and easy first down now you're in the red zone right but because it got home because the left tackle's an idiot 
then that's the way it goes. Yes. But again, so you, the quarterback see, I takes that I, I can, I Does can he help the quarterback up? behind you guys? But you guys can say it with credibility. Does, so. does he help? Does he help the quarterback up? Mm, that's a big one. But you know, that's my biggest thing as I'm watching. Who helps up the quarterback, especially because he just got filleted right there. Ooh, interesting. Ooh, mm-hmm. Ooh controversy. Like anybody. Why is I no mean, one? Why is no one walking over there? Mm-hmm. I don't know, like, but oh, we screwed up. I, they're probably know they're about to get their asses ripped. But yeah, I will say this: Isaac punk. takes one for the team here. He definitely got wiped out. But yeah, that's not. This is. I mean, that's again, that's a, that's a tough blitz. Wait, go back. I think I saw palms up right there at a sixty-three. Ooh, that oh, might be a fine. Oh, Ding him. Oh, Hold on, wait. Left he turns around at the end. You keep playing. Keep playing. Keep playing. Keep playing. Show me some palms. Show me some palms. He's like, wait. Oh, look at him too. He's like, I'm killing this. I'm killing this. And. Uh, oh, some palms. There's right some, there. some palms. Palm. 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 Get him. Like, Got him. You palm. see 69? You see 69? He's like, hey, dumbass. <laughs> Block number seven. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, me? Oh. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Let me tell you what happens when you get to <laughs> the sideline right after here. that, right? After yeah. we uh, just dinged you for your palms. <sighs> the head man's about to ding your ass. Are you <laughs> serious? You let this dude free run into a $250 million quarterback? Are you an idiot? Oh, bro, he knows he's getting cut. There's the palm. There's uh, the palm right there. Right there. We always Palms see the up. Palm, dude. We're, we're trained to see him. You always see it. Oh, I'm about to, hey, I'm about to do palms up with my football team this year. We were handing out pads yesterday. I was like, by the way, if I see palms up, you're out of the game and you're running the whole time. They were like, what? <laughs> I'm so sick of seeing palms. What? Who, me? What? Ooh, here's one. This one gets the goat. This mm. blitz here. I picked this blitz because this one gets the goat. Right, you got Tom Brady. He's seen, he's seen everything, right? He's seen it all. He's practiced with Bill Belichick. He's seen everything you can imagine here, right? So this is a three by one formation again. Three to the left, one to the right, right? So initially we're thinking our strong sort. Everything seems pretty balanced, right? There's three for three over here. Two high safeties. One over one over here on the right. So go ahead and let it play out. This is this is a fascinating blitz to watch how it happens. In my mind, I think I know the call already. I'm going to see what they do. Five zero. Oh my God! Look at that. By the way, the camera the camera guy got it's tricked on this. It's a sack. Yeah. Yep, it's a sack. Right. Go to the back end. Right. So initially they're going, hey, it's five down. Right. They're going, yep. hey, we're we're sorting on the left side. We're sorting on the right side. They drop everyone off the right side. Everyone. Go back. Go back. Go back. They drop everyone off the right side. Right. So six. Patrick Queen drops back. Who's this guy over here? This 49. guy. 49 so they are sorting this and what i mean when i say sort 69 and 78 are sorting number six and number nine to the most dangerous 70s locked up on 92 right over him 60 and 76 are sorting number four and then whoever's the most dangerous guy outside of him right so it's called a two for three sort right those two guys are going to pick up the two most dangerous out of the three guys in front of them so initially that's just it all fine and dandy because like i said everything looks balanced there's nothing here that tells me i should turn one way or the other let's protect no. ourselves but at the snap of the ball they drop out both these guys. They actually loop the nose to the left too, and everyone rushes off the left side. It's almost like they all messed up. It, I'm like, telling you that no. That, that, listen, uh, before anybody says anything, the nose is wrong. I'm the telling you, wrong. the nose is wrong. But look what happens, and this is what I say sometimes when you play undisciplined people: when they mess up and they're not supposed to be in a gap, you are against everything. Like. The center knows he should not be on the left side of the ball, but he's like got to follow him over there, and it all of a sudden causes more confusion. And How do you chaos. know the nose is wrong? Because someone you would has never, to have contained. Someone someone's got to keep contained, contain. dude. Somebody has to be outside of seventy-eight because if then so, Tom could technically just walk to a first. I mean, down. he is. A, I mean, maybe maybe he's the first quarterback there, no. in history where you don't need contain because he's You're not forty-nine doing that. years old. But look, so there's one, two, three, four, five. There's five white shirts rushing on the left side of the hash. Right. That's not obviously that's I mean, you could say that's wrong or right, but regardless, there's not enough bodies. There's yeah, and nothing, that's total there's, chaos. There's, there's nothing anyone can do over there. <laughs> Look at them all. They're like, up. there's no way this is right. The right. So why right. okay. so Tom, Tom does, does, Tom like, does a good Tom does a good is Tom se- so what's your read on what Tom's doing here? The right is, is he, he feels sense, no he's contained. sensing everything. Yeah. He okay. feels no contained, so he's like there's they're, they're coming. They're coming, but the thing is, they do a really nice job because when you make a quarterback scramble away from the three receiver side, right? If you go back to the top, right? Yeah. Go back to the top, right? Your answer is 
your answers are always to your strength of your passing formation, right? right? Your three over here, right? That's where your answers are. So when you send everyone off the strength and you make Tom roll weak, he's got one receiver down here. That's a, because he's now either throwing back across his body or he's got his answer of one, one receiver down here who I believe that's Marcus Peters, obviously one of the best corners in the league right now. Right, like you have to make a decision. So Tom doesn't like any of these. Right, this route over the middle's jumped. He's one on one deep ball here to maybe Mike Evans, but I mean, even then, he's going to be getting hit as he throws. So he sees here he's got no answer because they cut the field in half, and boom, it ends up in a sack. Wow. And not only that, but he could throw it to eighty-eight. But it's like he said, you're going to get popped right in the teeth the minute you turn around and throw that ball. Because look, yeah, yeah. right at the time eighty-eight becomes available for anything, like here he's the, the tight close- end, the tight end on the on the far hash, right the there tight end on the far hash, in the slot. Yeah, he's the he's yeah. your closest answer and your most open answer. But look, by the time that they can kind of get the pass off, Tom's about to get nailed. Yeah, I mean, so right here, Tom's thinking like, okay, my outlet's over there. But by the time he gets his head around, that guy right there, if he were to turn around and try and throw that without – he's not Mahomes, smoked. right? He's not Mahomes. No. doesn't have yeah. the angles and the arms. He's got to turn flip his hips. He's getting killed. It's also a third and 14 here, right, yeah. I believe. So it's yeah. like you're you're going to throw across two hash marks. You're going to throw across no, the, the field. Uh, he's going to catch that ball, run 11 yards. Nope. I mean, I guess I do know one quarterback who might throw that pass. Oh, uh, no. That was fourth down. This is third down. That's true with the season on the line, but we don't have to talk about that. So. Come on, I'll throw it short. He'll get there. He'll get there. Yeah. Yeah. But again, like, uh, before, you jump, before you jump, th- just remember, this is this is one of the things that just looking at. You look at it from an answer's perspective, what we said, like, there is nothing here that tells me to slide left. Everything no. looks balanced to me here. There's nothing here that would tell me in the film room. The safeties like, hey, are right. In, look at that. Too high. Nothing looks off at all. Dude, no. they – they really right. I mean, it at the motion, at the motion, they start to move a little bit. But even then, like if you're at the motion and you're like it's already rolling, it's too late. Yeah, like, you're like that one right here. Like the ball's gone already. That, that dude's hand is moving. This was a yeah. fantastic blitz, a fantastic disguise by the Ravens last year. And, it and the fact that the nose went to the left almost made it really. Because yeah. if I'm that not nose, if that nose loops to the right, it allows the center to bump back over there quicker. But because he didn't, everyone Worfs and Mason are just standing there holding their. Pug. That's what I'm saying. Like they got nothing going on. That undisciplinedness drives you nuts sometimes because it kind of scares you in the back. Yes, Especially when it works. Because you know that somebody's looking at that blitz like, are we really going to try this blitz next week? <laughs> you want some more Ravens? Ravens yeah, uh, blitz? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah. Week 15, Baltimore at Against Cleveland. the Brownies. Here's an empty protection for you, Booney. Ooh, I love my five-man AML. So all these last ones, all these last ones have been six-man pro, right? When I say six-man pro, it means the five men up front and obviously the running back or tight end. But those have all been six-man pro. This is our five-man, also known as empty. Also known as AMF, which stands for Alex. All these motherfuckers. Thank you. <laughs> you got to pick them all up. <laughs> Literally, when they throw this up, they're like, "Hey, you see everybody on that field? They're all a threat. Congratulations. You get you get out there and figure it out." That's and this is sometimes where coaches are like, "What's your input? What are you guys thinking? What do you want to do?" And this is where like five man pros become really fun, but they're. Mm. They're, they can be disastrous, but I find them very easy because you only have to account for five guys. All right, so let's pause it right here. Oh, go back, go back. Go back, right. go back. Go back. Right, we're going back. 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 So right here, this, this, is, this is a five-man front, right? Four, 99, 93, 18, and 50-whatever. 50 56, so yeah. The reason I want to talk through this is I'm going to say a couple things here, right? So if this is six-man pro, right, let's start with that. If this is six man pro, this is a really simple call. It's just five zero, yep. right? It's just five zero, which means hey, you five have those five twenty seven. You're locked on. You're locked in on number six, right? Number four on the outsides. The you got a circle number four. Those are those are the five guys we're so, looking so at. So if this is six man pro, right? True six man protection. It'd be a five zero. Those five guys up front are eating up twenty seven. You're locked on number six, right? Easy as pie. Simple. Super simple. simple. Now, it gets really complicated when it becomes five-man pro because mm. you now have to protect inside out. So this is now a 5-0 hot right, right? And when I say hot right, I'm saying, hey, 77, 78, you are now responsible for number six, right? You have to see if number six blitzes in the A-gap, you are the one that has to squeeze this down and make us hot off the widest guy. Nope, 78 would squeeze too. 
But you're, I'm yeah. saying I'm drawing like a they're responsible for everyone in yes. this collection yes. yeah. here. Correct. Even yeah. the safety. And even though he doesn't look like a threat now, at times that guy can be a threat. And so you have yeah. to say like that's why you're cutting a line and you're saying, okay, you two have everybody over here, the most dangerous two of everybody. And then the three of us will take the most dangerous of everyone the other side. So if I recall watching this, Conklin's actually the one that messes this up, the right tackle, number 78. Right, so if you let it play out, right, they make a five zero hot right call, five zero hot right, telling the right side you are hot. You big duel this to number six, you figure it out, right? So Wyatt Teller, one of the best guards, he sees it, right? Wyatt Teller sees it. Their vertical setting, he has to slam back down on number six here, right? He comes back in. Conklin misses the memo. Yeah, Conklin doesn't have his eyes in there. So Conklin's got to be looking at number six. If Correct. six comes, he's yes, protecting starting inside out with 99. Correct. Yep. So and he, he knows that he has 99. 99. He should be down on 99, and now we're playing the odds game that four either peels with the back, right? Four is either going to peel with the back. And the reason it's a hot right is because the back's emptying to the right. You see that, mm-hmm. Mackie? Yeah, right. we gone. want we He's want to make looking. this we want to make this hot right because in our opinion, if for whatever reason this is man coverage, and six does fire, someone has to peel with the back. Now, no one does here. They end up sending. They end so up they dropping throw the guy. Yeah. So yeah. So so how open but is twenty? This is, so twenty seven's open here. I just want to see this real quick. The more we watch this, the more it's Deshaun's fault. Oh. Number one, you should see that six comes. Like you, this is where they have to take ownership. Like yeah, we know who we're blocking, but you have to know the two. So the minute these five are up here and he sees six, he goes, okay, my read's off a of six. The minute I see six come, I'm instantly hot. I have to find my hot route right now. Like right now, there's only mm. worse. We don't know in real time that 18 is dropping. I don't know as a right guard that 18 is dropping. So I'm coming down. See this? Yeah. 72 is just an added bonus because Bettino is so, so good at what he does. He gets the center back over here. Now you're still hot though on the right. And that's the problem. As a quarterback, the minute you see him blitz, you have to find your hot route right now. And you found it right there in 27. Kareem Hunt, nobody's, hot, right? no nobody's following him. him. Or you just throw it to uh, Njoko right yeah. there. But that this is the problem that I have. When you don't do these meetings, this is what happens. Like when you're not paying attention in them and you're like, hey, listen, bud, the minute they show this look, all you're looking at is six. If he comes, you got to get rid of it because we don't have answers if they don't peel. And we can't take a risk of you getting hit. So, yeah, this is on Watson. Watson and 78, right? 78 on a two. See, hold on. See Conklin right there? Go right back before the snap. You see him peer in. You see his stripe right there. Watch his stripe, right? His stripe initially is there. But right at the snap of the ball, he gets nervous. And right there, right, he's looking at him like, okay, he's all right. He's on the other side. He's not coming. Right at the snap of the ball, his eyes aren't on him anymore. You can see his stripe mm, comes right out. Everything changes. Everything changes. He misses the, he misses the memo. And now this is a big time sack. This is fascinating, such a piece. Man. By the way, this is one of the this is one of the better O lines. Not even kidding, like top five in the league, and they're coached extremely, extremely well. well. So this is a very rare thing to see. But even more so, like if and I'm looking at this, I'm seeing more it's the quarterback's fault than anyone's. You know what I'm saying? Like the now, minute was he, he allowed, comes, he was in meeting rooms. I mean, he didn't play until week 13. But but that's, I, it, but it's something when you don't play for a while, like you you oh. you're, you're worried about your your routes, the snap count, everything like yeah. that. the protection's always the last thing the quarterbacks worry about. Yeah, so that, I mean, it's just so like sacked. it's it's pro- and dude, he hasn't played in it was two, two years, years, right? So yeah. think about how fast it's probably being processed uh all right let's go to uh matt ryan against mm. a titans blitz here which matt ryan right. any blitz is, is sort of problematic <laughs> rable these last show me what you years, got so. baby this is a beauty <laughs> this is a beauty so it's, Again, is this uh, third, jeff saturday here, colts is this jeff saturday colts what week uh, was this from? this was week seven so uh, it was i think that was Right around the time they might have made that change. So here's your double barrel look again, Boone. Right, first what? of all, again, since this is love a teaching, it. this is a teaching podcast. Three by one again, right? Three by one. Here we go. Base rule, three by one. You yep, slide so to the strength. Three. Yep. You slide to the strength because that's your true mic, right? Your mic is going to be to your strength. Your mic linebacker, so six man mic base protection. He's in right? the right A gap. Double A yep. gap. Double A gap. So go ahead and you can go to the back end now. Fast forward. Yeah, we don't spoilers. So double right. double A gap. Double right A here. gap, right? 37's my mic. So I'm making my rake call, my Roger call, my Ro- Rocco, whatever my Matt Ryan. Call He's is. pointing right at him. Yep. Matt Ryan's going, hey, 37's the mic. So that now means that the back's first read is what, Mackie? Come on. 
Uh, that hold on a second. That, that means the back's first read is <laughs> sack. <laughs> <laughs> That's how fast it happens, Brody. The hold on, let me get this. So the so center center is the is the Day back's Tone. first read thirty seven. Uh, or is the center th- picking up thirty seven? Yep. Center and, and the back's first read is thirty one. Nope, fifty one. Oh. 51. 51. 51. Okay. See, right? So you got to remember six man protection. Oh, for back, inside out. Inside, inside out. out. There you go. Inside right. Out. And he's starting his count away from the offensive lines. Right. So Matt Ryan says, hey, 37 is the mic. Kelly goes, cool. Rocco, 27 goes, my first read is 51. Right. Boom. Right then. 20, 21 sees him. Bang. Right there. Now they're sliding. Now this is where the running back, Najim Hines, oh. he's got to get his butt up in there. Oh right. god, this is rough. I hate this. Is, these. This is a great. This is this a is a three man. Race. Oh my god, th- they run a three man game, knowing that they're going to slide to. Oh, poor Matt Ryan. That poor they're going to slide right. Jeez, they know they're going to. This slide is why Matt Ryan's train. in the broadcast booth for uh, kidding, CBS dude. this season. So they know. <laughs> they know the the Titans know that they're a, they're a strong sort protection team, right? So they they have it set. That they're like, all right, they're going to point out that you're going to the right, right? These two guys are talking about right here. Hey, they're going right, right, right. So they now know they're going to what's called a down, down around. 37's going down to 58. 51's coming down to 78. And then big old Jeffrey Simmons is coming around the pipe. Oh, dude, look at this. this. Is a, you have to trigger a three-way bump with the running back. With the running back. Because a lot of times here, what guys will do is they'll drop this end, number 48, over okay, Bud, Dup- Bud Dupree, I believe that is. Yep. A lot of times with this blitz, they drop this defensive end, which then can allow the backside guard to try and get back in and kind of muddy this whole thing in the middle. But they say, screw it. We're sending we're sending all six. Right? This is a true six-man pressure. You have to block it all up. They keep these guys. 93 even rushes the outside B-gap, so Quentin Nelson can't get in there at all. And then they run a down-down-around stunt here three-man game and really the only way you can make this work is if 21 really gets up here and tries to blow this thing up but from a crossback position he's dead Dude, how is he supposed honest. to how is he supposed to get back, both those guys though you, you well number one what you would do is you would walk him up there in the a gap so he'd be tighter so that they don't have as much time to get into the hip of kelly because ryan can't do anything he's got to set 37 the only thing he can do that jay and i talk about with our boys all the time is staying square because then you can see more you can react better if you turn they're going to continuously push you in that direction and you cannot stop 51 i know he looks like a tiny little dude right here but the minute he gets running and pushes his hands on your hips you are gone you cannot stop yourself but let's be honest jay even when this guy comes up in this a gap switching a three man this is would be hard because look who's coming around 98 is getting ready to destroy heinz like (laughs) dude you're you're but either way like this is just a well thought out protection but you brought it up and i don't think a lot of people know this it's because they don't fire zone the backside Correct. The minute mm-hmm. that 93 loops out and 48 drops, Quentin Nelson's smart enough to get his ass back in there and find 98, right? Like, this is why we call it saving a life, or it's like an alert sin. The minute the tackle takes over, Quentin Nelson can get back there right now and take 98. But because they rush Bud Dupree, nobody's allowed to get back anymore. This is like an all out blitz that just ends up being phenomenal. Look at that. Okay, say 98's coming oh. in hot like a jet ski on a lake he knows. for Nahina for they Hines. Know, yeah. Brody. Here's your one play. You better get yeah, home. Right this is now. your blitz of the week, right? <laughs> this is your blitz of the week. This is, hey, this is crunch time, right? This is 29 seconds left in the second quarter. It's a two minute situation coming out of a timeout, third and 10. You dial up your best pressure here, right? Where right are at they? The 50, right across the right 50. 50 Ooh. Right across the 50, right? So they're going to like, hey, I know we usually fires on this, but let's send all six. Let's try and make Najim Himes and the center and the right guard have to pass off a three man game because, at yeah. worst case scenario, they pass it off. Now it's 98 and 21 standing in the A gap, and I'll take 98. All right. I have one more dumb 100. question about this. So this Yo. goes to my to my uh, slow and wrong answer at the start for where okay, where's 21 supposed to go when they when Ryan Ryan's making 37 the mic right, and that's how he's setting it. And my first answer was on the outside 31, which is dumb and wrong. And you guys correct me. So 21 is on 51. So yes. and I think I know the answer to this, but why why doesn't is the reason why 21, and now I can't erase this, but is the reason why 21 doesn't slide to the outside is because you don't want Bud Dupree on a running back, right? Correct. Correct. It's and almost so, the same thing on the inside. You're blocking a running back. It's a running back versus a running back, not a running back versus a known rusher. Like the right. you, number one, are never allowed to let a known rusher on a running back unless you fall into a twist. Like 
the, okay. they, they will avoid that at all costs. That guy gets paid $20 million at least to rush <laughs> right. the edge. That guy across from him gets paid at least $20 million. It's his job to take care of him no matter what. And there was game plans that I remember when J.J. was young and in the league, and it was like, I don't care where he goes. If he stands 10 yards off the ball, you stare at him the entire time. Like You just can't let a known run. Because look what he does to the tackle. Yeah, I mean, come on, you're going to put that on a running back on the edge? That ball is coming out faster than you know it, and no receiver is that fast. Yep. So basically, like for, for fans like me that are watching, it's like if, if you see scenarios where an elite edge rusher is one-on-one with a running back or a tight end, something went wrong. Ah, tight ends no. are a little different. Different tight, tight ends. Tight ends are tight different. Tight ends look chip, but they'll always get help out to them. But at the same time, remember, it's not that something went wrong. It's that the defense schemed something up perfectly right. right. Because we are – that's the number one goal of us. Never let an edge rusher on a running back. How do we filter through the trash to find all the tough guys, right? We'll give everybody else to the running backs and tight ends. And that's why if you do ever see that, they've either schemed something up really, really good that we didn't see coming or we screwed up really, really bad. Yeah. Uh, you guys got work. We're forty minutes. So this is cocaine for. I know, man. I can't stop. Can is, we? This... Should we? Should we save a couple plays and do another one next week, or do you want to? Do you want to do one more here? Because we got we just uh, on air production meeting. We do want to do some dumb football questions for another. Episode oh yeah, you're too. right. Yeah, let's do let's do the Bengals one. Last okay, one. let's finish it. With, Pull finish, up. finish it with the Bengals. Okay, Favorite that Stafford team. one, by the way, you gave me. So technically, the defense was flagged offsides on that, but there might have been some interesting semantics. Okay, semantics, <laughs> semantics, semantics. Okay. So, uh, again, this is a blowout game here. So, I believe this is Bengals' backup quarterback guy in the game. Yeah. Because they're just whacking the Panthers 42 to 7 and still throwing the ball, by the way, yeah. in the fourth quarter. So, well, I love them. Here. So, I love these guys. <laughs> still Foot yeah. on the gas all just the time. Chucking it down the field. So they're murdering Never right? Break. First thing break. that I see here no safeties. Zero Ooh. safeties. What is right? that called? What kind of look? Uh, uh, a what? Fence. A fence look. A fence. They look like a look? fence. Okay. Looks like yeah, a picket all, fence back there, right? They all look yeah. like a Which fence also post. high alerts high alerts me to a thing called cover zero. Ooh. Cover zero, right? Yeah, one yeah. on one coverage across the board. Matched Get up, ready, matched Mackie. up, matched up, matched up. And this mm. is what we just talked about with what the Colts should have done, right? Which were Joe Mixon, whoever that is, Maj Pirine. Pirine. He walks right up there because he's like, I got this dude standing right here. Now the left tackles actually, yeah, spoiler alert, left tackles one that blows this, right? So no. this is two Go by two, it. two by two, two by two formation. Number seven's my mic, right? So my, I'm fairly certain this is what they would do a five O protection here, right? You can go to the back mm-hmm. end now. Okay. Five O protection, right? Mike. It's a lot of dudes up there, boys. It's a lot of white jerseys. <laughs> yep. So they're gonna say, hey, we're gonna buy number seven, or they're saying, hey, we're gonna fan this to number eight, and we're gonna give the back number seven, right? Either one. I'm not sure. Play it out a little bit. Let me see how they ID this. Play it out, play it out, play it out. Yes, okay. So what they said is they're going, hey, okay, eight's our new mic. Eight's our new mic, so we're going to go three for three, fanned out here to number eight, right? Left, right tackle, right guard, center, are blocking 99, 98, and eight. Mm -hmm. Now, they're going to say, Joe Mixon, walk your happy ass up there in the A-gap. You take number seven. Left guard, left tackle, you block 97 and 90. We're going to be hot off 49. Now watch this okie doke that 90 gives them. Oh. oh, just gives him. Hey, oh, okay, now listen, like listen, listen, like listen, 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 listen. <laughs> this is different, okay? When they take two steps up the field like that, you're committed. I, I don't care what a coach says. Like, there's a lot of times that they'll rush a corner off the edge. That's different. You can see that guy coming. But if they're right next to each other, I don't consider this a blown assignment. I consider this just mm, to be a phenomenal. See, I do. No, I do. No, that's a lie. No, 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 and he doesn't. Now, granted, this is cover zero, right? There's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's Dude, seven. I'm... There's seven hey, rushers. Who you work for? PFF? Huh? There's seven rushers. Is this your PFF analysis? Huh? Seven. Is this your shit? Is this seven. really what you're going to tell? Right, listen, uh, Jonah, I'm going to give you this one because I care. That's a tough block. I'm just going to say it. You could have saved a life and turned a corner and thrown a punch and done something, but I- I'm – 
But you're saying so, you, Jeremiah. You're saying could right, twist. right here. Ninety so could he, do a lot of things, dude. You don't know what he's doing. He's taking two steps up. I would never think a guy drew me that far up the field and stopped. I would be like, "There's a look." He even looks inside. Where's the twist? I'm not. I'm not buying that at all. Like that is just well thought out. I'll get the just Panthers zero. Credit. It's just cover zero. They're setting seven. There's only six blockers. And who Let's knows see, who far, made ninety far drop? Past. So by the dude, time when ninety there. drops, when ninety drops, he stops here. 49 is see that's, that's what i'm tough, saying man. like you that's can if tough, anything man. you can drop your hip and try and throw him you up you gotta the field. turn and just try and push him up the field that's a beater bro that is a beater and it's because this <laughs> end that's one guy just drops i mean dude i'm telling you they they get you and you're like no one's open Shh. either no they didn't I mean this is the backup this is the backup in there so i mean but you have to get them in you have to get yourself into a better play than this as a quarterback or not or not because you're up oh yeah that's not too. joey b who's that alan uh alan yeah right uh but anyway, uh, that's a fun one. It's a fun one to end on. It yeah, is. Man. It is. That's a tricky. Hey, I like the. De- I like the debate. Wow. Are so we going to be? Like- uh, hey, are we going to be going against PFF this year? Are we going to be doing some grading of our own to be like, hey, I wonder how they did. We should. Actually, we should match up numbers. Yeah, we should we forgot- match. We didn't tell you your homework assignment for the year. Your job is to chart every, every single, single offensive snap. lineman snap of every game on Sunday and Monday and Thursday. So Let's go. and report back to us on Tuesday morning. If yes, you could. dude. I'm t- we should pick a team every week and just grade them out and then just match it up next to PFFs and see what it I says. Don't, I don't have time for that. You go right on ahead. You're such a you're such a wuss. <laughs> What's the Boone version of PFF? Is it just BFF? No, Rhinos only fans. Rhin- Rhinos only. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a harsh critic. I'm harsh. ROF. Rhinos only fans. <laughs> Rhinos only fans. That's not a bad Amazing. idea. Oh. So, well, yeah, hope you guys, you guys enjoyed that. I know that, yeah, that was, that was... Little, I know it was a little different. I know it's not what we usually do, but I wanted to give some info into how we look no, at those things, great. how we identify those things. If you like it, let us know. We can always do more. We're going to do a lot more of this during the season, too. You know, I'm going to pull up plays. Alex is going to pull up plays that we see watching the games on Sunday, Monday, Thursday, and be like, hey, let's look at that blitz and how crazy it was. How did they miss it or how did they pick, protect it or all those things. You know, if you guys see a blitz on Sunday, too, that you watch and you like it. You want to know it about down, it? Write a timestamp. Be like, hey, it was the second quarter. It was this, this, this. was this down. Let us know. This we'll down. Pull it up. Yep. We'll talk through it. Yes, dude. Awesome. And again, click the like button. Click the subscribe button so we can keep growing this thing. Over 4,000 subscribers in the dead of the off season here. As we get this thing so launched, talking about. appreciate you all. So, and uh, keep the it. dumb football questions coming too here on uh, O Line Committee. Thanks, guys.